Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. RTS 590 power cable are melting. More than 4 melted RTS 590 power cable has been reported and people are starting to ask the big question, what is happening, Jason? AI, 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 AI. Within only 48 hours, multiple RTS 590 users are facing the same nightmare. Burning flags, flickering skin and dead GPUs. Let's break it down what's going on, what users are reporting and what should you do right now to stay safe. On Reddit, 4 RTS 590 owner reported burning 12B HPWR or the newer 12B 2x6 connector. And the thing is, those weren't cheap adapters. Some were using native PSU cables, other were using the bundle GPU adapter. One PNY RTS 1590 user said he had weeks of black skin and crashes. When he finally pulled out the card, the 12 pin plug was burned along with one row of pin. Another case involved an MSI RTS 1590 Ventus 3X, where the owner had random freezing and flickering for months until the connector completely melted. Most discussion on the Reddit are now focusing whether to trust bundle adapter or only use native PSU cable. But there is one thing that keeps coming up in all those reports. MSI's YOLO taped adapter. In total, four cases, all pointing toward one clear pattern. The failure happened on 12V HPWR and 12V 2x6 connector. And the most often are on RTS 1590 card. Symptoms start with the black skin flickering and random no signal crashes. And then, user discover burn connector. Even people who undervolt their GPUs to around 450 watt and keep their bills clean have reported burns too. In one case, a Crosshair 1200 watt PSU user saw visible heat mark on the single GPU pin even under moderate load. And again, the same MSI YOLO tape adapter showing up in several pictures. Maybe it is easier to spot burn marks on it, but the pattern is definitely suspicious. So what's going on here? The main issue seems to be poor connect between pins. Even a slight misalignment or incomplete plug-in can cause this resistance and that means heat build up. The RTS 1590 pulled massive power, so even a tiny bad connection can literally melt the plug. This is exactly why Nvidia moved from 12B SPWR to 12B 2x6 to make it safer and more reliable. But if the connectors aren't fully settled or if adapter pin too close to the socket, the rig stays the same. Alright, let's talk about what can you do to protect your GPU. Number 1. Use native PSU cable, whatever possible. If your PSU support ATX 3.1, use direct 12V 2x6 cable, no adapter. 2. Make sure to connect it fully clicked in. Push until you hear or feel that click. Don't force it at any angle. 3. Don't bend or twist the cable near the socket. Keep at least 3 to 4 cm of straight cable before the bend. Don't mix cables from different bands. If you have power supply from one company, don't buy cable from another company. Even if the plugs looks identical, pinout can vary. Number 5. Watch for warning signal. If you see black skin, flickering or sudden no signal crashes, stop gaming. Power off and check your connector immediately. Okay. That's it for today. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more GPU and PC hardware news. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.